hey there everyone ramesh here back again with another new brand course on sql so this is going to be a full course to cover everything about sql okay so sql is one of the most in demand skills in the tech industry sql is important for anyone working with the data including software developers data analyst data scientist and database administrators well if you are working on back end development in a web applications or mobile mobile applications you basically use the relational databases to store the data and in order to interact with the relational databases you have to use sql in your back end development well here is the agenda for this sql course we will begin with introduction to sql next we will see mysql installation and setup so mysql is basically a relational database that we use to store the data in a tables with rows and columns and we use sql to query the data in a mysql database so throughout this course we are going to use mysql database as a relational database and we use sql commands or sql queries to interact interact with mysql database so mysql you can pronounce it as mysql or mysql okay so basically in this step we install mysql server and mysql workbench on windows 11 so here mysql workbench is basically a client that we can use to communicate with mysql server so in a mysql workbench we can type the sql commands and we can execute the sql commands with respect to mysql server next we will see how to connect with the mysql database using command line interface as well as mysql workbench next we will see how to create the database how to show all the databases how to use the particular database how to drop the database so we will see all these operations next you will learn SQL table operations like you will learn how to create the tables how to list out all the tables how to drop the table next you will learn how to alter the table like how to add the column to the existing table how to modify the existing column in the table how to drop the columns from the table how to rename the columns in the existing table okay next you will also learn how to use alter table you know statement to alter the constants like how to add a constant to the existing column how to drop the constants from the existing columns so you will learn all these table related operations next you will learn data manipulation statements like insert statement in sql to insert the rows into table select statement in sql to retrieve the data from a tables update statement in sql to modify the records in the existing table delete statement in sql to delete the records from a table truncate table statement to remove all the records from the table okay so these are the important data manipulation statements that you will learn in this course next you will learn important sql clauses like where clause order by clause group by clause having clause so these are the very important clauses in sql next you will learn sql operators such as logical operators and or not you will also learn in operator between operator like operator union operator So these are the commonly used operators in a SQL. Next, you will learn SQL aggregate functions such as count, sum, average, min, max. So these are the important aggregate functions in a SQL. Next, you will learn SQL keys such as primary key, foreign key, composite key, unique key. Next, you will learn SQL joins. So joins is a very important in SQL. So you will learn how to perform inner join, left join, right join. pull join cross join self join so these are the important joins in sql next you will learn sql views such as you will learn how to create a view how to update a view how to rename the view next you will learn sql indexes so you will learn how to create the index how to drop the index how to show the indexes next you will learn the important advanced concept like auto increment in sql and also sub queries in sql So apart from these concepts, I am going to also cover some of the advanced SQL topics as well. Now let us see introduction to SQL. Well, SQL stands for Structured Query Language. It is a standard language for interacting with relational databases. The popular relational databases such as MySQL Server, PostgreSQL, Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, and in order to interact with these relational databases, we use SQL, that is Structured Query Language. well all the popular relational databases such as mysql server postgresql oracle microsoft sql server supports the sql language so you can use the same sql commands or sql queries 
with respect to all these relational databases. For example, if you learn SQL with respect to MySQL server, then you can use the same SQL queries or SQL commands with respect to other relational databases. Okay, so in this course, we are going to use MySQL server relational database and we use SQL to interact with MySQL server relational database. Let us take a look into the types of databases. There are two types of databases, relational databases and non-relational databases. In relational databases, the data is organized in the tables with rows and columns. The examples for relational databases are MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle, Micro Microsoft SQL Server. And these relational databases support SQL. So we use SQL as a standard language for interacting with all these relational databases. Next, we have non-relational databases. In non-relational databases, the data is stored in a formats like key value pairs, documents or graphs. The examples for non-relational databases are MongoDB, Redis, Cassandra, Neo4j. So mostly we use SQL to interact with relational databases such as MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle and SQL Server. Now let us quickly take a look into categories of SQL commands. The SQL commands are categorized into five different parts. DDL, DQL, DML, DCL, TCL. Let us begin with DDL. DDL stands for Data Definition Language. The DDL commands define and manage the structure of a database and its objects such as tables and indexes. These DDL commands do not manipulate the data itself but deals with creating or altering database objects. Well, DDL commands we use to create or alter the database objects. The database objects can be a database itself, tables, indexes, views. And the DDL commands are create, alter, drop, truncate. Create command we use to create the databases, tables and other database objects like indexes, views. Okay. And alter command. So alter command we use to modify the structure of existing table. For example, adding the column, deleting the column, renaming the column, modifying the column. Next, drop command. Drop command we use to delete a table or a database permanently. Next, truncate command. So truncate command we use to remove all the rows from a table quickly without logging individual deletion. So these are the four DDL commands that we use to create or alter the database objects such as database, table, index view in this course we'll see all these commands with lots of examples next category is dql dql stands for data query language dql commands are used to query and retrieve the data from a database these commands allow you to filter sort and group the data to extract useful information and the dql commands are select command well we use select command to retrieve the data from one or more tables. Along with select command, we can use where clause, order by clause, group by clause, and having by clause to filter, sort, and group the data. Okay, for example, we can use select command with where clause to filter the data. We can use select command with group by clause to group the data. We can use select command with order by clause to sort the data. And we can use select command with having clause to group the data based on the condition okay in this course we will see select statement or a select command with all these important clauses let us take a look into the next category data manipulation language that is dml well dml commands handle the manipulation of data within the tables these commands allow inserting updating and deleting data in the database the dml commands are insert update delete the insert command we can use to insert a new rows of a data into table. We can insert a single row or multiple rows by using this insert command. Next update command. Update command we can use to modify the existing data in a table based on a specified condition. Next delete command. We can use delete command to remove rows from a table based on a specific conditions. We can remove either a single row or multiple rows from the table by using delete command. In this course, we'll take a look into all these DML commands with a lot of practical examples. Next, let us take a look into next category, data control language, that is DCL. DCL commands are used to control access to a data in a database by granting or revoking privileges to users or roles. 
These commands help manage database security. The dsql commands are grant and revoke. So basically these dcl commands are used to provide the permission or privileges to the users to access the data in a database. Next category is TCL. TCL stands for Transaction Control Language. Well, TCL commands manage transactions in a database. A transaction is a sequence of operations performed as a single logical unit of work. A TCL commands help ensure the integrity and consistency of the database. The TCL commands are commit, rollback, save point. The commit command saves all the changes made by DML statements permanently. The DML stands for data manipulation language and the DML statements are insert, update and delete. So in a transaction we can perform multiple DML you know, operations. In order to save the changes made by all the DML statements permanently, we use commit command. Next rollback command. The rollback command rewards all the changes made by DML statements since the last commit. Next save point command. Save point command sets a point within a transaction to which you can later roll back. So these are the important TCL commands. Okay. So these are the important SQL commands categories and in this course we are going to take a look into the important SQL commands that we frequently use in the real-time projects. Alright great I will see you in the next lecture.